Ahoy hoy, fellow adventurers. Barry Barry here, with your daily reminder that I'm so good they named me twice. Also, there's a new Daisy update that just hit experimental. Daisy 1.0.5 is here, for PC players at least, and it brings a whole host of fixes and features that should make your time in Chernobyl a little more enjoyable. So why not jump in? Let's start with the brand new content. Three new guns have found their way into the game. These include the m 91, the Glock, the Mark II, which was the Amphibia S, and the KAS-74 U, otherwise known as the AK-74U. All respective attachments and magazines have also come back along for the ride, and with the Mark II popping back into our lives, that also means .22 rounds are now back. Yay. The long way to climbing and vaulting has been added to the game, so it shouldn't be too long before you can get your own Daisy Olympics going. For the people new to the game, and for those of you who aren't the sharpest light bulb in the abattoir, some tutorial screens were added to the main menu. You can now use your indoor voices. VoiceOver Net now has the options for whispering, boring old talking, and shouting! Best to keep the volume down as well, as infected are now attracted by chatty players. And finally, you can experience what it was like for me on my last holiday to Nepal, as food poisoning has been added back. Make sure you cook that steak, and don't eat at that pub in Svetliask. It's, it's not good. The team has also been very, very busy, tweaking and fixing lots of things, so let's take a look at some of the stuff that's in this patch. Watch out for your jealous ex, as items can now be thrown through windows, so expect a brick with a passive-aggressive note making its way into your living room very soon. Some fixes with ringing out patrol pants, saline and blood bags doing bugger all, as well as some issues with giving the wrong blood type to someone else applied the consequences to the person doing the transfusion. So no more karma for being that dodgy doctor. Ambient loot can now also spawn rotten and dried states, so keep an eye out for that rotten kiwi. He's out there. He's out there. Salem bags are faster, and will also increase blood replenishment. This can be seen with the pill icon on the bottom right hand side. Test yourself before you wreck yourself, as giving the wrong blood type can knock you out cold, and even trigger hem... 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 transfusion reaction thingy, which is also now more severe. Bullets can get tired from long travel distance and will therefore do less damage. Health also is going through a rough patch, and it can't be asked to regen as fast as it used to, so give it a pep talk. They've also adjusted the injure stance threshold to allow for more mobility at lower character health values. Good news for vampires, blood now drains faster from bleeding sources. Quantity in the UI is now hidden for saline bags, IV saline bags, epidurin, morphine, which are all single-use items. In fact, they do less damage and shock, but also now have an increased chance of causing bleeding. Players' fists now do less damage and shock, so those little fist fights on the coast will be a little less uh, painful. Drinking from wells will replenish your water slower. And finally, some global lighting changes to overall brightness during the day, and less prominent shadows during a clear day. On top of this, there are also a few modding changes, but I'll let you modding nerds read that yourself. So, I hope you're as happy as I am about this new update. Let me know what your favorite features are in the comments below. What would your dream update look like? Until then, my friends. Tally ho!